Hi, this is George Alger with another segment of Our Ventura. Today it's my pleasure to be talking with Bonaventure Wacom with the Ventura Boys and Girls Club. And Bonaventure is the past president of the Boys and Girls Club. He's also part of the current board of directors and he's a chairman of the Satakoy Expansion Committee. Welcome, Bonaventure. Thank you, George. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so yeah. let's get right into it. Okay. What does the Boys and Girls Club do? Oh, very interesting. Um, the Boys and Girls Club has been around Ventura for more than 70 years. Wow. Um, we basically provide after school programs for the kids. We're a nonprofit organization, part of a, a national umbrella organization. We raise money and we work with the school districts, we work with uh, individual families, and um, we currently operate five centers in, in the Ventura area, one in Sadakoy. On the east end, we have one of our larger centers on uh, the Carla Fevo Center on uh, Johnson Drive. We have another center on the west end on North Olive, that's our Addison Center. Then we operate a center in the public housing, uh, we call it the Westview Center. Um, I believe that's on Queen's, Vince, Vince uh, Street out on the West End. The fifth center is in Oakview. Okay. Yeah. So we, um, we work with kids throughout the year and we, the fees are, membership is very simple and very affordable, $20 a year per child. Wow. Uh, but it costs you $600 per child through the program. Okay. Uh, so we have to raise a lot of money to make that happen. Um, I, I believe that the community really supports us, and I believe the Boys and Girls Club is here to do something really good for the community. We have three areas we focus on. One, education. We want to see that our kids graduate from high school prepared to go to college, go to the military, or get a job. Uh, the second thing, we try to help the kids come become a good citizen. Uh, so we encourage them to volunteer. We encourage them to focus on, uh, to get involved in the community, uh, stay out of trouble, avoid crimes. So we even work, work with gangs uh, in, in the areas to try to help them uh, look for a better way out of uh, life. Um, then lastly, of course, healthy habits. We now work with them to have good nutrition, get into fitness program you know, in, in our different centers. So we do a lot of sports. When they come out of school, we, some come by bus, some are dropped off. We work with them on their homework, uh, tutor them, help them out. Then we go into other programs, whether it's art, sports, games, and so forth. Wow. So I take it this involves quite a bit of uh, volunteer participation as well from adults. Absolutely, absolutely. We have youth volunteers and adult volunteers also. Um, we currently have a good program that uh, we're really proud of um, and uh, we call it Speaker Series where we have people in the community uh, come by every week, once a week in, in one of our two centers. Uh, Johnson Drive on Mondays on uh, Addison Center on Tuesdays for about 45 minutes. They get to speak to the kids, talk about who they are, talk about their careers, uh, answer questions, and get to know the kids and the kids get to know them. We also have volunteers that come in to help with, uh, with, with the, 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 in each club with different events, whether it's with sports, juggling, um, basketball, baseball, uh, even help them with homework or whatever. But we also have paid staff that have to be in the center, that actually run the centers. Okay. Yeah. Do you know about how many kids are involved with the Boys and Girls I, Club? Uh, Boys and Girls Club of Ventura, we, we handle about 3,000 kids um, going through our, our program uh, each year. And when you say the program, is it a multi-year program or is every year considered a sort of start and end of a program? Well, there are kids that have been in our system for years. They start very young, five, six, seven, eight years or so through the program. So we take them, uh, so, and of course, just think about the school system. 
we work with them based on their grade levels in school. So if you're a ninth grader, we work with you at the ninth grade level, a tenth grader, uh, eleventh, and if you're a senior. If you're in the middle school, we also work with the middle school. Then we also have the uh, elementary school uh, group too. So we, we group them, the kids in groups, and that's how we work with them. So a kid can come to us as young as uh, from elementary school and stay with us. We hope we can, if we're providing beneficial service to them and guiding them, they can keep coming to us uh, until they graduate high school. Okay, and then would they, um would a person who's involved in this program, or a child that are, that's involved with this program, be involved every day, or is it just some days a week or one day a week? How does that work? Well, we open Monday through Friday during. It. We we try to mirror the school calendar. Okay. Then in the summer, when the schools are not in session, we have now special programs where people sign up, and those are full day programs. Okay. Yes. All right, and then is this. Um, up to dinner and also after dinner or primarily after school and to dinner? Uh, primarily after school to dinner. Okay. <laughs> no, we can't, can't, we don't right. provide dinner. No, 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 I wasn't thinking but that. But we do, we do, you know, we do have uh, snacks and, uh, and there's some programs that we, like the ACs program where we do it for the public schools. So the school district, if we do that for the school district, they provide snacks that, for the kids that we have to give them. Okay. So let's just say we were to take, I don't know, a, a high school student. And yeah. So he leaves school, he comes to the closest club, I guess. Mm -hmm. Now he would, have, he would have an opportunity to engage in sports if he or she wanted or get some additional tutoring for math or science or anything that he was interested in or perhaps do some kind of extracurricular arts activity. Do I have that correct? Uh, you have that correct. I think um, in addition to that, first of all, we want to make sure that they stay current in school. They do their homework. Uh, do any assignments that they have, whether it's about working on a paper or working on a project, but they have to stay current. And I'm also proud to say now that you talk about high school, I think the average graduation rate in high school in Ventura County is about uh, 65 percent or 70. Guess what we have at the Boys and Girls Club? Higher. 97 percent. Wow. So the kids that go through us, uh, through our system, are uh, almost assured they're going to graduate from high school if they stay with our program. Wow. That's yeah. fantastic. And um, another thing. Zero teen pregnancy wow. for the kids that go through our program, and we're very proud of that. And we also, based on a study that was done by Cal Lutheran for us, uh, for Boys and Girls Club of Ventura County, it was a group, we also found out that 82% of the parents that send their kids to us indicated that the behavior and attitude and family relationship with the kids got improved after they started going to the Boys and Girls Club. Okay. So we find that to be very significant. Good. And I wanted to just ask you about your role with the Satakoy Expansion Committee, since that's a special project within the Ventura Boys and Girls Club. Could you speak to that? Um, yes. Uh, Satakoy, uh, you know, it's right there out way in Satakoy. We are operating, um, we've been operating in a double white trailer for over 20 years. That trailer used to be an old jailhouse from the youth correctional facility that was donated to us by the county. As a matter of fact, that facility is housed on a county park in the East End. Um, and last year, we were fortunate. We got some seat money uh, from the county, and then we got out and started raising money. And we have now, up to this point, we, our goal is to raise $1.8 million we have up to this point raised about a million dollars. Wow. And we have broken, just obtained a permit to begin construction. So we still have a long way to go to raise the money we need, but we're proud to say, hopefully within a year, we'll have a brand new facility, no longer on a trailer because the trailer has been uh, demolished. Construction has uh, just begun. Uh, we will have a facility that can take about 120 kids, a 4,000 square feet uh, facility. That facility actually is na will be named, or will name after E.J. Harrison and Sons uh, because they made a sizable donation for us. So we're gonna call it, we're calling it the E.J. Harrison Youth Facility okay. uh, uh, on the East End. 
Yeah, so we're very proud of that and excited that we're going to be able to have a new facility for the kids out in Shattercoin uh, within a year. Okay. So we would want to appeal to all the good men and women of our community, all the businesses to help us uh, make a donation to the Boys and Girls Club of Ventura towards this pro capital campaign of ours. And thank you for asking. All right. All right. Well said on that. Now let's bring this around to the perspective of a child or a teenager who, who's heard about the Boys and Girls Club and is wondering, well, okay, the, you know, um, the educational aspect of it sounds good and um, all the other aspects of it sound good, but what would I be doing? How do I start? Speak to that. The, the, it's very so simple. Um, the first thing is you just call the Boys and Girls Club of Ventura. Good. Um, our phone number, uh, of the main number in the office, I believe is 805-641-5585. 805-641-5585. Uh, we also have a website called boysandgirlsclubofventura.org that you can just go there. If you don't even remember, I'll just Google Boys and Girls Club of Ventura. You're going to have the information on your mm -hmm. fingertips. Um, or you can walk into one of our centers and talk to the branch directors, and they will guide you. Now, some of our centers have reached a max, so, but some still have room to take people. Um, sometimes we are limited by how many kids we can take, not necessarily because of space, but because we have a ratio of um, uh, staff, staff, yeah. staff to, to kids. Okay. And, and of course, the, everybody who comes to us uh, has to go through a background check because we want to make sure that the kids are not exposed to uh, anybody that can do harm to them. So because of that, we have some limitations as to how many uh, kids we can take. For example, in our old facility in Sadaquan, we could only take 65 kids. Okay. With a new facility, once we build it, we can go up to 120 kids. So roughly we can double the number of kids we can take in. Okay. Uh, and it also depends on the program uh, that we have. Some programs may be to the max, depending on when they register. Okay. But right now, I believe um, we, we can still accommodate as many kids as we can, and we like to do that. Good. So I think you've articulated how to get started as simply as possible. Just yeah. show up or call. Up. <laughs> and our branch directors, some of them get emotional when kids just show up and, uh, and they just get excited to bring them in. and. Uh, and even find ways for them sometimes we, when we just don't have a way to take them in. Okay. But they know how to do that. All right, well, Bonaventure, we're just about out of time here. Yeah. Is there a message that you would you know, like to conclude with that you'd like the viewers to understand or to know? Uh, I just want to say the Boys and Girls Club uh, serves a very good part, uh, purpose in our community. Uh, they're part of uh, the community, they help us. It's not just for the underprivileged, but it's for all kids, everyone. Everyone can get involved, take advantage of it. It's a service that we offer at a very, very, very nominal fee of 20 bucks, 20 bucks for per membership. So all, that's all we need to do. We're not a babysitting facility, by the way. So when they come in, they're gonna learn. They're going to learn the right uh, thing. We're going to take good care of them. We're going to have guidance for them. And we welcome volunteers to come in and help us. And we believe in combination with what we do and some of the other organizations in the community, we can build a better community. And the youth of our community, are, uh, they make up our future. So if we take care of them, then we know that we'll be get, doing just fine in the future. So thank you for having me, George. Well said. Sure, appreciate it. All right, okay. appreciate you dropping right, by. Keep up the good work. I think you guys do a wonderful job for us in the community. We Great. need you. Well, thanks for coming by. All right, thank you. This is George Alger signing off for another segment of Our Venture. Until we meet you again.